Okay, well, here's the current situation. And if you're watching this video, I imagine you find yourself here too. Wife has come home yesterday with her brakes grinding. Probably should have paid more attention and stopped telling her it was brake dust when she said they're squeaking. Um, now, I have wheel locks on the car. Uh, came with it. I certainly would never put anything like this on them. Uh, and the wheel lock key that I religiously put in the glove box has mysteriously disappeared. Don't know what happened to it. Um, I did have a wheel bearing done by, uh, by a shop not too, too long ago. And uh, not only did they fail to inform me that the brakes need to be done, because I probably would have had them do it right there instead of in my garage, uh, I believe they maybe didn't put it back because they didn't have a problem getting that tire off. However, they don't have a wheel lock, not hanging around. Um, so, at first, I was going to just weld a nut on there. As you can see, I kind of got this one a little chewed up. Uh, but, you know, not everybody has a, uh, has a welder hanging around, not to mention, you know, I don't want to do too much damage to the rim, and that's a lot of heat. You know, I really didn't get it on there too good because of that. I mean, I can probably just clean that up. I did, however, figure out a way to get the front one off. Okay, that's my wheel lock nut. I am not putting that back on the vehicle. I'll stick a different lug on that on that one, on that stud. Um, however, this method seemed to work very easy. Okay, now what you want to do is get yourself another socket. Now this particular one, uh, three quarter inch seems to fit fine. Nineteen millimeter would probably be about the same. But I do have that star head, so there's a lot of points to catch friction, all right? And it's slightly smaller than the other, the wheel lock, okay? And I'm going to force it on there with one of these tools, okay? These are always good to have around. I've got a few of them. Uh, so let's see how this works out. I did a... Uh, Sorry about that, folks. I did go do my hair for you, so. Okay, let's give this a shot. Now, I've also got one of these, all right? I've been in a stuck nut situation a few times, so this one's kind of hammered. Actually, that's not the right one. But something to, uh, something to help you bang it on there, a rod, something a little longer. You certainly you want to keep your uh, keep your socket if possible afterwards and I'll show you how to get that done as well All right. here's my one that's been hammered to heck so I'm just gonna get that one on there on there you can get on there pretty good Want to be able to remove it afterwards. Yeah, that should probably do it, I think. Let's see. Now, I'm going to use a pry bar instead of the impact wrench. Only because I want to have a little more control of it and not just start hitting it with tons of power and bust it right off. This way we can ease it off a little bit. Get that put in there. Just give it a little bit of pressure and make sure you're not spinning it off. When I got the front one off, didn't hammer it on well enough, and it did spin off one time. It really doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the to the nut, believe it or not. Take a look at that. I mean, things totally still usable. I don't know why they use these. I bet you if you found a local wheel thief, he'd tell you how to do this real easy too. Looks like this one's going to spin off as well. Yep. Okay. This time let's get her on there real good. Okay, set. Don't worry about not getting it off. Like, there's an easy way to get it, your socket off the front afterwards. We're going to break out a little bigger sledge. Be 
careful not to miss. Certainly you don't want to do any damage to your rim. Okay, that one's not spinning off. That's for sure. So, I'll just apply a little bit of pressure here. If it's too tight for you, whichever, you can always stick your foot up here. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You may not have a breaker bar or whichever. I suggest if you're going to be doing stuff like this, this is an awesome tool to have. There we go, I heard it turn a little. It's coming. Aha! Look at that. Voila! Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> the nut is off. I hammered that one on good that time, so I don't imagine it's going to come out like this. So, let's, uh, let's get that nut out of our socket, and hopefully our socket is saveable. So, while I've been doing a little surgery on a F-250 around here lately, so we've got a little bit of a mess. Um, best thing to do is find one of these. Just open it up enough that your socket catches. Okay? Now, I hope I can... I don't have much of a tripod, but hopefully you guys get the idea here. Alright, again, this is all just to save a socket, because let's face it, you got four of these to get off. You don't want to go buy four sockets and waste them. But, decent flathead screwdriver will do. I happen to have over here a nice punch which will also work. Again, sledgehammer. Awesome tool. Put that one on there, good. Okay, and she's out. My socket still looks absolutely perfect. However, I did chew this one up a whole lot more. Okay, this is the one I was in there with the little Meg Welder too, so. Again, I'm throwing them away. Uh, but there you have it, folks. If you gotta get a lug nut off without a key, or a locking lug nut without a key, that's how you do it every single time. Just get a nut that's slightly smaller. Uh, metric usually works on a lot of them. Mine just happened to be three quarter inch, but 19 millimeter would have worked. Hammer it on there, turn it with a breaker bar, pops off every time. 